Shannon is here tonight from the Harlem Community Center. Thanks so much for being here. Hi, thank you for having me. Yeah, so let's start with telling us a little bit about the Harlem Community Center. Oh, Harlem Community Center has been serving Northern Illinois since 1957. Oh, wow. And we do a wide range of social, recreational, educational programmings. We have an early child care center um, where we care for 226 children. Awesome. And then all of our traditional sports and recreation. So what's like the mission um, with the community center? What are your hopes that you guys can achieve every year? Well, our mission is to build a strong community mm -hmm. through our programming. And so that gives us a great deal of flexibility, yeah. <laughs> right? Um, so we try to do everything that we can to promote both the community, strong families, child development. That's really important to us. So how do you um, incorporate learning in your community events? Like how do you um, make sure these children are having fun and learning at the same time when they you know, are doing stuff with you guys? Well, our approach for learning is child-centered and play-based. Okay. And so it's really important that children learn through play. And that's, that is our whole approach to everything that we do. So children are naturally curious, right? And so when they're playing, they are exploring. And while they're doing that exploration, they're building their own competencies and they're building their own self-confidence right and so can I show you an example yeah okay so let's say we have these blocks here right and you see a child building a tower so they're building their tower up mm -hmm. and you're like oh that's a pretty tower Johnny and then Susie comes and she builds a pyramid okay and so she's stacking it up and that's what you see but what we're also learning when they're doing that is sometimes we're seeing sequencing uh -huh. in the colors or patterning in the colors that they're laying out. We're seeing spatial relationships and we're also seeing that the children maybe are doing measurements of the, you know, small, okay, large, yeah, yeah. and that's all beginning math. That makes sense. Right, so yeah. when you think that they're just building a fun little tower, they're really learning four or five different concepts in math. And isn't it way more fun when you're playing to learn than exactly. to just be sitting <laughs> and learning? Oh. So what's the difference between product art and process art? Well, process art is just a whole act of creating, right? It, we don't have an outcome in mind. Sure, okay. So and a, a piece of product art is like a coloring page or a pre-cut cutout, right? Okay. Maybe a tree that's already cut out. And so now you've given the children an idea of what you want them to accomplish, okay. right? Okay. And process art is just the whole act of getting your hands in it, getting messy, getting dirty, popping that paint around, spraying the... And not knowing what's um, going to come out exactly. of it. Exactly. <laughs> you know, you may have too much glue, you may have too little glue, but that's how the children learn. In yeah, the end. absolutely. Right. Okay, so tell me about this event you have coming up on August 24th. We are thrilled to bring Lisa Murphy to town. Lisa is also known as the Ooey Gooey Lady. <laughs> and so, I mean, and that's just so much fun to say, right? Yeah. Ooey Gooey Lady. Um, Lisa Murphy has her master's degree in early childhood education. She has a master's degree in children's literature, and she's also a certified play therapist. Oh, cool. So she has been in the field for 30 years, and she is a nationally known, um, highly sought after speaker and we are so thrilled that she's coming to town on August 24th. Okay. She'll be there from 9 to 3 and she's going to be two, doing three sessions for early educators, parents, anybody that's just interested in learning more about how to introduce art and play with young children. Cool. So how can uh, we get tickets if we're interested in attending? I think they just plopped a Q code up and um, you can register through the Q code through our website or call the community center. Is there an end date where we need to register by? Um, I don't remember what the cutoff is. Okay. We're at the late registration right now, which okay. is $100, but I think we can probably get anybody in up until probably the 22nd of okay. August. Perfect. Well, this sounds like a really fun event and the perfect time as we get ready to go back to school to think about learning a little uh, bit more. <laughs> I know. I can't wait to see everybody getting their hands dirty. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like so much fun, Shannon. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. We are off to the Boone County Fair next. We're taking you to the Home Ec Building. Blue Ribbon Contenders are going to be there and then Tim and I are making cocktails on Spirit Day. We'll be right back. The preceding portion of Good Day Stateline was sponsored by Harlem Community Center.